What's up guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to install the Android 4.4.2 KitKat on your Galaxy Note 3 and 9005. So this firmware works with the N9005 variant only. This is the leaked firmware from Samsung. Installing this firmware will not void your warranty. This is totally safe to install. If your device is rooted, you will lose your root access. And there is always a chance of getting stuck in a boot loop when installing firmwares manually. In that case, you need to perform a factory reset, which will erase all your data on your device. So make sure you backup everything that you need. Now hit link 1 from the description that will take you to this page on SAM Mobile from where you can download the firmware and PC Odin. Next hit link 2 and download Samsung Keys. Install PC Odin and Samsung Keys onto your computer. Now extract the firmware file that you have downloaded from sammobile.com. So guys once you extract this file you have this .tar.md5 file and then additional 3 zip files that I will show you how to use it. Once done, you need to get into the download mode to install this firmware. So turn off your device. Ok, once the device is off, you need to get into the download mode by pressing the down volume, power and the home button at the same time. Keep holding it until you see this warning screen on your display. Now you can hit the volume up to continue. Go ahead and connect your phone to your PC via the USB cable. Once you have connected your phone to your PC, now you can launch the PC Odin. So here you must see this IDCOM tab turn into blue. This means all your drivers are working fine. If you don't have this blue, you need to go ahead and reinstall the Samsung keys. What you can do is uninstall the Samsung keys and reinstall it. That will fix this issue. Leave rest of the settings as it is. Now go on to BL and navigate to wherever you have the extracted files of the firmware. So select the file that says BL. Select it and hit open. Again under AP, go ahead and select the file that says AP. Open. It's the same case with the CP as well. So let this file load. Okay, now go on to CP and select the file that says CP. And again, it's the same with the CSC. Once done, hit start. So wait for the installation to complete. So guys, once it says reset, you can just unplug your device. So guys, at this stage, if you get stuck in the boot loop, what you can do is just remove the battery, plug it in again, hold the up volume, power and the home button at the same time, get into the recovery mode, do a wipe data slash factory reset, again take out the battery, plug that battery in, get into the download mode and perform the same procedure. So that will fix this issue of this uh, boot loop. So here we have successfully installed the Android 4.4.2 KitKat leak onto the Galaxy Note 3. So guys let me just skip through this. Let's move on to settings. General. About device. So here as you can see right now the Android version is 4.4.2 KitKat. So that is really good. So guys here with this new update on the status bar you have these new icons, the white icons for your battery, signal etc. And uh, you even get this camera shortcut on your lock screen. You can directly launch your camera. There you go. So I will be using this device for a couple of days and I will be coming out with a review on what do we get with the Android 4.4.2. So stay tuned for that and thanks a lot for watching. You guys have a great day. Bye bye now.